Hey, what's up, guys? It's DJ. New and updated mods have been released on the mod app for Farm Sim 22. In total, today we have 13 mods for all platforms, three new and seven updates, and PC and Mac players also have three updates. In this video, I'll show you all the new ones, plus their customization, and we'll go over all of the mods that got an update today. Just a quick heads up before we jump into today, you can see that I've got kind of a uh, an interesting FPS counter going on. If you guys are jumping in new for the first time today and you haven't played yet, you are going to experience some jitter and some stutter this is because the game is refilling in all those shader caches if you have the availability please just jump around go fly around you can even jump into build mode and it works this way as well you're going through and loading up new parts of the game you can see my fps counter at the top doing the same thing do that and you're going to need to drive around as well you need to do this in first person and third person both as they are kind of separated a little bit so just jump in a really fast car and drive around you should be good to go after playing for about five or ten minutes you'll be okay starting off with new mods for all platforms and welcome to farming simulator 22 yeah it's new giants island by mx11 on here this is the farming simulator 2009 map all the way back there before this game was even a cross play even before this game was on consoles it was pc only back then on this map there are 29 fields available to choose from some small to large you have three different forestry areas giving you access to forestry something that was not in the game back then you've got some fountains to distribute water sources uh, as well as the sea itself just like it used to be and there's also collectibles there's also 20 points of sale and a lot more going on here let's take a look at the pda you guys have seen me flying all the way around let's see what we actually get in new farm remote if we go down here we have farmland 45 15 and 23 those are also going to be 15 and 23 fields as well we also have the main farm right here and you go around and see there's a bunch of cell points dude like a bunch of cell points there's not a massive amount of field so don't expect to be taking over the whole thing and you can't buy the outside either so you're only going to be buying certain areas in between as a matter of fact this whole area you can't even touch that so just be prepared for that i want to make sure that you're aware of it let's take a look at the growth calendar it looks pretty standard but it's always nice to see that and let's take a look at new farmer mode what do we get well we have the fin favorite 515 we have well, a bunch of fin in here we have a 1050 a 1050 and four 94 20s one of them is this guy right here the black one one interesting thing with that is if you don't have the black beauty unlocked well you're you're gonna get it at least with this new save so that's pretty cool we also have the Fent Ideal 10T. You've got the old pickup truck, two Corona trailers. We've got one big Dynaflex header, big cultivator as well. Direct drill cedar from the K brand, a burrito fertilizer spreader. Front loader, front loader tool for a bucket. We've got a header trailer and we've got four different weights. If we pop over and take a look at the main farm itself, uh, still still filling in my shader cache right through here but as you can see we've got a really nice area around nice big and open and it reminds me a lot of farming simulator 2009 or 09 farm sim 9 i don't even know what i would call it but there you go new giants island yeah next we have the grimmer max tron 620 from mlody 98 this is a new sugar beet Harvester for all platforms got 530 horsepower, CVT transmission, 1400 liters of fuel. So be out in the field all day long, 15 mile an hour. Uh, normal traveling speed holds 33,000 liters in the hopper, weighs 28.3 tons, as you would expect. It is heavy. It does have a 2.8 meter working width at six miles per hour. So not terrible but it's not massive either you're going to be in the field for a while you may want to get a couple of these it cost you four hundred twenty thousand dollars nice and we have wheel options from trelleborg michelin midas Stein, continental bkt and back in again we do have a license plate setup uh kind of a trike setup almost in the very back and two tracks in the front it is a big big machine and your only other new one for all platforms today this is the Klaus axion 800 870 special edition now the modder that made this bandit 36 fr also made the jcb 4000 and 8000 series that you could change all kinds of different colors so i expect 
the same here. Let's find out. 205 horsepower, variable transmission. We got 455 liters of fuel on here, 31 mile per hour max speed, and weighs 9.1 tons. Special edition, we start off with no, so it's just your standard tractor. However, we could do Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental. These are not the wheels, mind you. This is just the special edition Midas, BKT, Radistad Tires, Trelleborg number two, Michelin number two, Continental number two, Midas, BKT, Radistad, or nothing. How freaking cool is all of that, dude? Those are awesome. Um, it also loses some customization. So you can see through here, we have body and paint colors and everything. But when we go over and we start doing this, the only thing we have access to is the carpet inside. So at least for now, we're going to stick with nothing. Engine options give us 205, 215, 235, 264, 295 horsepower. So everything we would get normally. Wheel brands, of course, we're probably going to see those brands from Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Minus, BKT, Radistan, Nokia Tires, they're back in again. Now we do have those narrow twin wheels, which I love. We have regular narrows, big twins, rear twins. We got some wides with weights. Uh, we've got normals with weights. We've got broads in here and all through there. Design, we do have EU and US. So if you need through that, you've got that. If we go into the US and we go with the narrow twins, you get a different kind of warning si signal on the side. Beacons, we have a couple different styles of beacons through here, including those low profile LED. Gotta love that. And of course, we got some window tent in here as well. Now moving down, we also have flash LEDs. So this is kind of nice. So it adds some LEDs right here in the front. And I don't actually know if it adds any in the back. Let's see if we see any added on to it. I don't see any on the back, so looks like it's probably just going to be around on the front. Lighting ramp. Let's see here. What do we got? Oh, a little LED light right at the top on the hood. Ooh, a big one up there. We've also got uh, some different colored... Uh, uh, LED lights. That's, that's pretty sweet. All right. I like that. Now, grid warnings. We got a couple of these, and these are just kind of on the top uh, and that type of thing. And then we have body color. So, up through here, all kinds of different color options. Of course, we start with the gloss green, and you can even go down through here and select that, though it does seem like it might be a little bit different, but it looks to be exactly the same. One of my favorites is the Bachman color. Looking great on there. Literally anything you want. Rim ring. So this is the interesting part. So the rim ring, I don't remember seeing that on anything. At least it's not showing up right now. Let's make that something that we'll definitely see. Grid color, make that uh, orange at the very front. Rim color itself, we'll go with the black. Now, I need to figure out how to get this rim color on here, this rim ring, because I have no idea how to get that on there. Found it. So at least in here, when I go into the wide tire, that's where it's showing up right there. So wide tires, wides with weights, wide number twos with the weights. It doesn't look like the twin wheels give you anything, the narrows or the narrow twins. However, those uh, wide tire right there, that's what it's going to give you. And I wonder if we get something special through here as well. We do. So it, it does give you some extra stuff through there. This is a very cool uh, tractor. Let's see. We've got the carpet color on the inside. Yeah, you could change that. Doesn't look like you could change that. Otherwise, though, this is a really neat tractor, man. This is really cool. Making our way over to mod updates for all platforms, we actually have a DLC update to start off with. This is the Vermeer Pack version 101. Fixed key binding, a bell counter reset, if the baler is foldable or if it's on console. Remove the Vicon Fenex 904 Tether from Silage Missions. Fix the reset of bell counter in animations and multiplayer with more than two players and also show bell counter while in a trigger. Your next update for all platforms is kind of a DLC, Precision Farming. This is version 1021. They've added seed rate and crop sensor support for custom mod fruit types. So they've included a prepare mod maps PDF in the mod. So once you download that, you can check it out. Next, we have an update to the John Deere 6R series. This is version 111. Small bugs have been fixed, flat rims were brought back, and silver color option has been added. Next, the Cresetto PC pack version 2. Added new connection hoses and added new configurations. The Dutch shed pack got updated to version 101. Multiplayer fix and fix placement sound. The Xiaomi Animal Food Pack version 1.1 added option to buy up to eight pallets at once. Edge Your 
last update for all platforms is the same thing, Pioneer Seeds version 1.2. Added option to buy up to 8 pallets bags at once. Alright, let's end the day off with some updates for PC and Mac players, starting off with the Crusetto PC Pack additional features. This is version number 2, they've added new connection hoses and added new configurations. Next up, an update to a very popular mod, Manual Attach version 2.2. They've added a separate hose type check to only disable the functions per type, added support for custom hoses, and multiple bug fixes. And your last mod today, an update to the Tree Growth Manager. This is version 111. They've updated the icon and added German translation. Well guys, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it if you did. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHead fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Heads up, patch 1.9 came out today for Farming Simulator 22, so make sure you check that out. There's also some other new things that came out today, as well as some quality of life improvements. You definitely want to watch that video. Otherwise, I just hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace!